guys. I'm kind of excited to do this video. In more ways though, I'm terrified to do this video. I've been doing DIY squishy kit reviews lately. You guys seem to like them. You guys requested that I do this one a lot. You guys are probably trying to get me killed. This kit that you guys requested that I do has Karina Garcia's face on it. She is a huge YouTuber. She has millions of fans. And I tend to be very blunt and honest with product reviews. So... That's why I'm so scared right now. I genuinely hope that I just love this product to death because I know if I say anything negative, some of those millions of Karina's fans are gonna come at me and this is a product review. It has nothing to do with Karina personally. In fact, you know what? Mad props to Karina because she is obviously killing it to be able to do this kind of stuff. It's really awesome for her. That being said, this is a product that people are expected to pay for, $20 by the way. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to show you exactly what's up with this product so that you can make the decision knowing the pros and cons. I'm going to be honest as usual. <sighs> Disclaimers make me tired. So let's break into this bad boy. Ah, okay. So everything right off the bat looks very nicely packaged. Yay, positive number one. And it looks like there are some instructions or something. Yes, cool. Safety, wash your hands after use. Are these dangerous? Okay, whatever. Very interesting. Apparently there's chalk in here. Let's see what we've got here. All right, all right. Here's one of the squishies. This is a cupcake. Ooh, this is actually a pretty nice quality squishy. It, ooh. Like it smells like soap and then you smell it a second longer and it smells like fish. I'm not sure I like that smell, but that's fine. We're gonna be covering it with paint so the smell will probably go away anyway. We've got a donut. I really like the shape of this. I like how it's got like the frosting outline on it. That's cool. And the third one, okay, this is just like a, a little bun or something. So pretty nice squishies, I like these. So I guess every kit comes with a cupcake, a donut, and then a mystery mold, which is this one. They're using the word mold, so I almost expected like silicone molds and that you were gonna mix your own squishy. I don't know if mold is the right word, but let's not, let's not. They were kind of hyping up the mystery and <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna be something more, more interesting, but this is fine too. And oh my gosh, okay, I'm actually really excited because they included sprinkles. They have some longer ones and some short ones, which is nice. And we've got the paint, four different colors. Um, these colors aren't great as they are, but you can mix the colors and because there's primary colors, you can make pretty much any color that you would want. And the final little package in here, it's chalk. I've used chalk on squishies before, but the thing with chalk is you have to seal it somehow. Otherwise, it just continually rubs off the squishy. Maybe this is special chalk. Okay, I think it's that time to switch the camera over here and start playing with these and decorating and see what we can make with this kit. Okay, so here we are at my messy table. Um, I think I've gathered everything that we need to get this job done. The chalk is completely broken now. That's totally my fault because I dropped it. Yeah. So the way they're recommending to do this is to scrape the chalk with a coin, and it says use a damp paintbrush to brush the chalk powder onto the foam mold. I've never tried that before, so maybe that's what makes the chalk stick to the foam. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out. Let's start scraping this chalk. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's start with the donut, and they say to use a damp paintbrush. So far, it doesn't seem too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top now. I'm gonna do a little drizzle drizzle. Uh, usually I do this after the first coat is dry, so hopefully I don't regret this. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Dang it! 
Not the best drizzle I've ever done in my life. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just make this work. Sprinkles usually make things better. All right, so let's let this dry. So it's cupcake time. All right, I'm completely out of white paint. I don't wanna leave it like this, cause that's sad. So I am gonna cheat and use my own white paint because this is just too tragic. Where are you, Sprinkles? Where are you, Sprinkles? Wow, that's a lot of sprinkles. <laughs> Hi. So it's been a couple hours, these have been drying, and so I did the donut and the cupcake. Both I like. I didn't do this one because I actually used most of the paint. Killed the pink, killed the white, killed most of the yellow. Also, I had to use my own white paint um, just to make the yellow go that far. You know what? I think that these are actually really cute. Um, the chalk idea I really like because it makes it a lot easier and people don't have to wait as long. Um, but I don't know if you can tell or not, it has already started rubbing off. I don't love... Oh! Let me get a close-up. The paint is coming off in one big piece. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's happening everywhere. No! Um, maybe I squished it a little bit too aggressively. I mean, I'm not gonna keep it like this, so I might as well just show you. Like it's that easy. Yeah, the cupcake has the same problem. Oh, apparently there's a wet spot. Oh, there's still wet spots on the cupcake. I just pulled that off so easily. There were, it peels up around the edges and then it just comes off. Like it just slides off so easily. Guys, I'm sad. <laughs> you can play dress up and you know, everyone can wear different outfits. How am I even supposed to fake this? Like it happened right in front of your eyes. Like. What am I supposed to do? It's kind of cool. I'm a little donut so depressed. If I hadn't squished them, I probably would have never known. It probably would have been fine, but it's a squishy. So you're, you're supposed to be able to squish it and it's supposed to be fine, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, I had pretty low expectations and then I tried it and I thought, hey, this is actually not bad, like the chalk is going on way better than I thought it would. And then my heart was broken, my dreams were crushed. I'm probably still gonna get harassed by Karina fans and I don't even have cute squishies to take away from it. I basically just wasted my money. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that you do the same. I'm actually sad because I spent time on these and to have them completely ruined, it's pretty disappointing to be honest. I know I didn't have to peel off the paint when it started pulling off. I could have kept it on there and just let it hang on, but that just bothers me, you know? So I'm just gonna pull it off because like, what's the point? It's slime. On a positive note, that fish smell faded a lot. Apparently the paint really helps to take away the fish smell. That's good. So that's it for today, guys. Sorry that this couldn't be a peppy, perfect, yay, everything's great review. I hope in some strange way you enjoyed this video. Um, on Friday, I'll be doing a squishy makeover, which has been highly, highly requested. So hopefully you guys are excited about that, because I know I am, so yeah. Bye guys. Well, that was depressing. What am I gonna do with this? So after I finished the video, I started thinking maybe I had done something wrong. So I was thinking maybe the chalk would help the paint stay better and I'm just the one that screwed it up. So I painted on the chalk side of the squishy to see if it, the paint would stay. Um, obviously, it, it was the same result. This only happened after I squished it like probably five or ten times. So if you're just using this as decoration, it'll probably be fine. Anyway.